Every day, dozens of Santa Fe County Corrections officers walk into these doors, working long shifts and filling a lot of responsibilities. They ensure the safety and security of everyone here, both staff and inmates. But there's not enough of them. Santa Fe County Public Safety Director Pablo Cedillo III says they're facing a staff shortage and have been for years. I'm authorized 235. Currently, I have staff 191. It's why Cedillo implemented mandatory overtime three years ago. Officers rotate working six days a week at times, racking up their pay. It is a challenge. Um, it's always a challenge. They also fill in for people who call in sick, those who are on leave or vacation. It's costing Santa Fe County taxpayers. Well, now we're finding out that that mandatory overtime is still in place. And we have the numbers to show you, the taxpayer, how much you're spending on it. Out of the more than $3.5 million that all of Santa Fe County spent on overtime last year, more than half went to corrections workers. Cedillo says it is a minimal impact. On our budget. Because he says maintaining safety and security is worth it. He says overtime will continue for the foreseeable future. They're struggling to recruit public safety workers because it's a demanding job that doesn't pay a lot. Angela Brower, KOAT, Action 7 News.